Hi guys and thanks for joining. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to take advanced custom fields plugin for WordPress, create a repeater field and from that repeater field we're going to create a Elementor widget. It's going to be an accordion that's going to take that repeater field and turn it into an FAQ frequently asked questions accordion. So let's jump right in and go into advanced custom fields plugin. I'm going to add a new field group. I'm gonna call that group accordions or accordion and first things first we're going to add the first field. The field will be called repeater and the field type will be repeater as well. Now once you select repeater that opens an option for subfields. The first subfield will be title and we're going to add another subfield that's going to be called description. Perfect. We got that set up. We're going to click publish and we're going into posts. Before we start with creating our widget, we need to go into posts, enter the first post, and we're going to see our new field group down here. And as you can see, it's called repeater, and we can add items to that. So I'm going to add three items. Let's just take some uh, lorem ipsum text from our post and add three items, three different items that are going to represent our FAQ post accordion. So this is a dynamic way to insert data into your post single template built with Elementor. Great, so this is the data that's going to be in the accordion. Click update to save, and this is very important. This step by going to the demo post and putting all our data inside is essential for what we're doing. So once we've added the demo data, I'm going into unlimited elements. Now, of course, I can create a custom accordion and do whatever I want, but since Unlimited Elements comes with so many types of accordions. I'm going to take advantage of that and I'm going to choose one of these predefined accordions to use for my single post template. So let's just choose one of these. And I think this one looks nice. I'm going to click install. It downloads it from the cloud and double click on that to edit it. Now, this accordion is using the unlimited elements or the elemental repeater field and we want to change that. We want to change it to use dynamic content, yes. Demo post, we're going to use the post that we just edited and we want the ability to use custom fields. This is important to select that, otherwise we won't see our repeater field that we just created. Going into HTML, and over here right now, it's using the unlimited elements, put items. Now we don't want to use that anymore. So we're going to take our item HTML and paste it in, back inside of the accordion. And instead of that, we can delete this of course also. And instead of that, we're going to paste inside uh, the attribute that's going to create the advanced custom fields repeater. We can find that on the right side by scrolling down current post. We're going to open this up, scroll down, and over here we can see current post custom field repeater. That's what we're going to want. And over here I'm going to paste this inside by clicking on it and what it does it creates a repeater inside of our accordion now we're only going to need title and description 
So I'm going to take off the index field. And inside over here, we can paste all the content we want to be repeated each time there is a repeater field. Great, we've done that. And now we can swap these two fields we had earlier with the new fields. So let's go for title and description. And we don't need these empty spans. Perfect. Click update to save. And usually before trying to test this out in the single template, I'm going to click preview widget to see that everything is working as expected. And as you can see, it's bringing the fields from the demo post. That's why it's important to have a demo post so we can test this out before. So everything is working great and we can jump into templates, theme builder. Over here, I'm going to single, add new. We're going to call it FAQ post. Select the post type and create template. Now, it suggests some of the predefined single post templates. I'm just going to use one of them. It doesn't really matter. Click Insert. And over here, inside of this template that it created, I'm going to put my accordion. So over here in the elements, we can search for accordion. This is the accordion we just edited. I'm going to drag that inside. And now, as you can see, it, we have a widget that is populated automatically from advanced custom fields. That is certainly amazing. So I want to thank you guys for joining. If you have comments, comment them. If you have suggestions, suggest them. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you next time.